Alright, hey dudes, guys, gals, whoever watches, it's been like a long time, oh, hmm, um, it's been a long time since my last upload, and for me, i am just been busy with school, it's just, been so much to deal with. So yeah, I, I kid you not, I, I legitimately had a lot of stuff to deal with. And for me, it's not that easy. And let, let's see, let's see. This is basically, this is basically my last video. Not completely, but my last video of 2017. Because it's December 31st, 2017, and it's the last day of the year, completely. After today, it, the year's over. The year is done. It is done. And... My last video was a gaming video. For the ones that have watched my videos, that have subscribed and clicked that notification bell, which I thank, because to be honest, most, most of those videos are just videos I make from Twitch. I broadcast, and once I'm done, I just upload. I export them from YouTube. Or, not YouTube, from Netflix. And those are my videos. 100% mine. Nobody else's. And my last video was a week ago. And I'm not kidding. This is my that that's my channel. That's my channel. I've I've been meaning to change my uh, YouTube name to what that to what it says there because my Twitch name is that my uh, Twitter name is that. So I was like, you know what? I've been meaning to get around to my YouTube name. I need to change it from what I have it. To what I need it to be. And I was like, you know what? Let me do it. Let me get it over with and all that. I was like, thank God. Hoorah. Okay, that's fine. Now, it's been, today's, today's the 31st, and my GTA, my GTA video... As in, uh, this one, the one I'm playing, well, that I played, um, that was a week ago, on the 22nd, and, to be honest, th this is just an update of what I'm going to be doing, mainly next year. Videos, I want to try to make more, but this video is technically a video of updates of what I'm going to be doing because I, um, I'm still in school and for me it's just, Ugh, school, hate, I hate school. Most people do, I don't blame them. And some people who's some people have opinions about school, and I don't care. My opinion is, I hate school. That's my opinion. That's me. That's me. Nobody else. I'm not forcing that on anybody. Most people will agree with me, especially with the school. Especially at the school I'm, I go to. A lot of people hate school. And just, school gets boring. 
It's just my school just sucks. Trust me. And I've I've been uh, I've I've been in uh in a couple rough patches for like for the last few months, especially with uh, some people saying what I really shouldn't be doing. I've got a haircut, my beard is gone, as you can see, but for you it just looks like a 5 o'clock shadow, which kind of does, but my, but my shit grows back fast, trust me. In about a week tops, it'll be back. But, what I'm basically going to be doing a lot of is exercising, getting in shape, and joining the military. Now, most of my family that I know of, that I figured was in the military, they either are, is, or they either are in the military now, or they used to. Or they were just in boot camp for a short amount of time and they got kicked out. Now, I just, I know f uh, some of my family was in Navy, uh, Air Force, Army, just, just to name a few. And those are like the mean ones I know of. But none of my family that I know of were in Marines. And that's the branch I want to do. I want to. I want to go into the Marines. That's my. That's my choice. That's my decision. That's what I'm gonna do. And I really don't care what people think. It's my decision. I have a family member on my dad's side, my grandmother, who is basically telling, trying to convince my dad to tell me not to do it. My dad supports me. My mom supports me. My uncle supports me. I, I've got family supporting me of my decision. Hell, I got a few of my friends supporting my decision. And, uh, hell, Hunter, you seen this video? Thank you for supporting my decision, brother. And, yeah, there's just, I, if, if you guys are, fine with me doing that that's that's your call it's like if you have opinions about me joining or not joining that's your opinions not mine but if i have family trying to force something upon me like not doing it i'm still gonna do it it's my life i can do whatever i want with it like, I have no right of controlling you guys are watching my videos. If you watch, you watch. I don't care. I just make most of these videos for fun. My gaming videos. For fun! My, uh, th these types of videos. Updates or other shit. Just mainly to help and for me to say shit and get off my chest. But, I, I've just done a lot of stuff in the past week, and to be honest, the uh, GTA video, that was right before Christmas, and to be honest, I hope most, I hope most of you guys had a very wonderful Merry Christmas, if, if you celebrate Christmas, if not, Happy Hanukkah or Happy Kwanzaa, whatever you celebrate. Happy holidays. How about that? Happy holidays can go to Mary, to Christmas, Hanukkah, and Kwanzaa. I think those are the only ones that are celebrated around Christmas. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Am I? Am I right? 
don't know. Maybe. Probably. Now, let's see. Now, one thing I've um, been wanting to do is basically Twitter. I've had Twitter, I've got two Twitters, uh, but my main is with, with, with my channel, and it is DeathKid24. And yeah, but now I was just I, I haven't been on Twitter in a while and all that. But I've I've been doing a bunch of stuff and for you guys that wanna follow me, it's right there. I don't know if you guys can see it. If you want you can pause and just add me or follow me. Whatnot. It's your call. Hell just tell your friends about me and all that. I don't care. But I will but I'm main I've just had a bunch of stuff going on. Mainly been, uh, mean, mainly been trying to go to PT and all that. So, yeah. And for you guys that are wondering, like, what is he talking about? PT? What, what is that? Uh, PT means physical training, and if you're going to join the military, Whatever branch you need to be in top physical condition. Not just get no. I'm just gonna get her fast and join the military. No, not none of that. None of that. The first day I went to PT to get a feel, it was fun, but exhausting and excruciating. Cause couple, cause second day after my body was like somewhat screaming, but the day after that my body was completely screaming. When I tried to move, my arms I, I couldn't stretch them out all the way. They're still hurting a bit. For some reason, they're still hurting a bit after a couple weeks now. And what I did was not easy. It was just excruciating. Five, it was 500, oh no, 100 pull-ups, 200 push-ups, and 100 squats. So it was basically 5 pull-ups, 10 push-ups, and then 5, 10, 5, 10. Wait, 5 pull-ups, 10 push-ups. 510, 510, uh, 510, 510, 510. It's just five of those, five of those, and then after, uh, after five of those, you're doing one set, basically doing 50 squats. And that's one whole turn. And after doing all that, had to do it three more times. So, after all that, my body was screaming. And when it was starting to get towards the end, my body was... Pull-ups, I could do like two, three later. Push-ups, I was struggling. I, I was going, just... I get my arms 90 degrees, trying to go back up, just to continue, all, just to do all 10. I just feel my arms trying to go limp and me collapse. And like after doing most of that stuff, I had to drink water. And that wasn't fun. Just tiring, painful. And yeah, yeah, very. 
but very fun. Just <sighs> well, just pain. That's all I could say. BT pain. Marines. Love it. When I started joining the Marines, I mean it. Now, the only thing that's missing is a shirt. What I don't have is a Marine sweatshirt or t shirt. What I'm wearing is just like a jacket. Because my room gets cold every now and then, but eh, who cares? I got a vent in my room that pumps hot air. So I ain't complaining too damn much. I just wish it was a Tuesday. Oh wait, it's in two more days of the new year. Now uh, let's see. What else was I going to say? Oh, uh, uh, the weightlifting videos. I only made a few of those. If you guys are wondering why I made those, that's because um, last, last year I was in, it was my junior year, and I had a weightlifting class. So I was learning some weightlifting stuff, and thought of my you know what it's almost the end of the it's almost the end of the year so you know what let me share this with uh you guys let me share it with you guys so i was like you know what let me do that it, it was fun it's fun for me to do and it probably helped some of you guys out whether it was equipment uh how you stood and all that. But... Well, you know what? Sorry for that long pause. I was just like thinking of what I want to say. And I've collected my thoughts and thought of this. There's a problem with this world. Something's wrong. And I ain't the only one that knows it. I'll say this. Fix it or get off this earth. That's all I gotta say because this world's getting messed up. Don't believe me? Head over to the head over to a you to the YouTuber's channel and he'll explain most of the stuff of why this world is fucked up. This YouTuber is Ryan Upchurch. And, Ryan, if you're seeing this video, hell, I don't care. One, I don't want to kick your ass. Two, I don't want to kick your ass. Three, this world's fucked up, and I love what you say. Because what you say is your goddamn mind. You're speaking your mind. Because you don't want to bottle it up. You bottle it up, it's gonna explode out in public. And, uh... Might as well make it on, make it soon, then letting it happen later. Letting it out soon is better than later. And, Ryan, well, one thing I do have to say, this world is f***ed up, and it needs to be, well, uh, what do, how do I want to word this? It needs help. 
I kid you not, that's what it really needs is help. And a lot of it, with most of the people nowadays. <laughs> Adults acting like kids? My god, what has this world come to? If you're American, then prove it. That's all I gotta say. I'm American. I'm proven. I'm gonna prove it. By serving this damn country. If you hate this country, and yet you're still living here, one piece of advice. Get out. Like, legitimately. Move to Iraq, South America, Australia, Antarctica, space, somewhere than America. Because... You say you hate America, and if you hate America, why are you living here? There's, there's one reason I hate America. And before you guys start going off in the comments and all that, I hate America because most of the idiots that live in it. Most of the People that are uh, stupid, dumb, ignorant, just idiots. And most of them are just weird. Hell, I'm weird, but I'm different. I'll say this. And I've, I've been wanting to say this for a while. I... I've, I've experienced death. I, I know what death is. A lot, a lot of you, a lot of people on earth are afraid of death. They are scared of it, petrified. They don't want to die. They want to live as long as they can. And if you think about it, most people back in, like, oh, shh, uh, 19th, so, uh, 18th, 17th, 16th, 15th, all those years ago, they were they were trying to live as long as they can. Trying to find a way to stay young and stay alive forever. Uh, Queen Victorian, I want to say, she... Oh, I want to say it was uh, Queen Victorian that bathed in the blood of uh, virgin, that bathed in the blood of young female vir virgins. I might be wrong. Hmm. I might be wrong on that. I might be wrong that it was uh, Queen Victorian. But what the queen did, like, so, like a thousand years ago, maybe more, maybe less, I don't know. She did bathe in the blood of female virgins. She did do that. Wasn't, probably wasn't uh, Queen Victoria. Queen Victoria. Probably wasn't her. Probably a different queen. That was in London. No, my, might have been Queen Victoria. Queen, the Queen Victorian, probably been her. I'm not entirely sure. She bathed in the blood of young virgins, like young female virgins, to stay young herself. That's that's sadistic. But I've experienced death. I know what death is. And to me and to be honest when you die you you know a lot of things like your mind opens up a lot and I was dead my mind was opened up all like a lot and I instantly knew a lot of things then, 
uh, the few, uh, few people or things I want to call them, things I met were Death, the Grim Reaper, met him, and he is legitimately a skeletal figure with a scythe. But clothing is just clothing, not like a black cloak or anything new. It looked like, if you think about it, uh, okay, I don't know how to explain it. He had, he was wearing. Yeah, it's like hard to explain what he looked like. But um that ain't the only th that ain't the only thing I saw or met. Because well when I met him I asked who are you? He told me who he was, he explained and yeah he explained to me that he was death. Uh, the Grim Reaper, the one who takes the souls to heaven or hell. And before I go on, uh, any if if you're a Christian, like a true legitimate Christian that is strict on saying you shouldn't say that, you shouldn't talk about hell. And all that, just that doesn't curse. I'm like, I, I'm just, I'll just be like this. Please get a life. All right, get a life, because that's what you need. And be honest, if you are that guy or woman, that person, basically, get a life. I'm a Christian, but I've cussed so damn much. It ain't funny. And when I died, it was about nine, about to be ten years ago. No, it, it's going to be not, it's still going to be nine. It'll be turning ten years in June or July. Basically, the, sum, basically the summer of 2018 will be turning uh, ten years. But I've already died. Wasn't fun, but for me it was a kind of addictive. I don't know why it would be. Probably has to do with uh, another someone I saw, and this someone. Most you Christians are gonna hate. And if you're atheist, uh, you can believe me or not. I don't care. This is what I saw personally. Sorry, I, I can't. I. And if you're going to ask for, you need, I don't believe you, show us proof. I was just basically, this is what I, all I got to say. Okay, I died about nine years ago. I was young. Didn't know what YouTube was. Whatsoever. Knew what a, a, a video camera was. Well, a camera. Didn't know what a video camera was at the time. So when you're dead, how can you use something? How can you record something if you're dead and your soul went somewhere? Huh? Besides, if you're atheist, you could believe me or not. If you were atheist and you are a believer in the supernatural, good for you! Please explain. Please explain in the comments how you how you were you, you used to be an atheist and then you started believing. I want to know because people who convert from atheism to being a believer in the supernatural, I want to know how they started believing. Because me, I've known all about the paranormal, the supernatural side of stuff. 
Most people don't believe, which I don't care. I'm a believer. I've been a believer, and after my uh, death and after I came back from death, my senses were heightened. Not a lot, just a little. It's just, if I were to die over and over and over again, and after each time I came back, my senses would be heightened a lot more. My sight, uh, my sights, hearing, smell, taste, my taste has gotten better, my touch has gotten better. All, my, all five of my senses are stronger. And, and I also gotten a bit more, sen just a bit more, a bit sensitive to supernatural side of things. Because whatever happened on the other side where my soul was, I, I'm basically attracted to haunted areas. Like I want, like I'm drawn to them. But I forced myself to not do it, not just yet. I need the equipment. I need some buddies that are willing to go. Hell, I got, I got, I got a few people that want to go. One of them is my girlfriend, obviously. Uh, her brother probably got a few other people that probably want to go to a haunted place and just want to explore it while recording. And I don't have a problem with that. But the, the next guy I saw was Lucifer. And yeah, that wasn't fun. See, when I died, I was at the age of eight. And my soul, if I'm not mistaken, if I died, I should have went to heaven. I was a young child, pierced of heart. Yeah, I was a kid. I was a child. Broke some stuff. Lied. Hit it. Can, can you blame me? But most of us who have been there have done it. It's happened to us all. We're young kids. Stupid. Naive. Idiots most of the time. Break something, you hide it, you cover it up. It's what we did. What we do. But nowadays, it's totally changed. You wanna know why? Because of this. Or what? And this. Because of those. That kids nowadays are changing. Instead of going outside, being active, they're being active on this or this. They're either active on a tablet or a phone, like I just showed twice. Hell, what I'm recording with is a laptop. And I use it just for fun. I didn't grow up with this shit. I didn't... Around... Once I, once I, was, I was growing up to the age of eight. Didn't grow up with this stuff. You know what I grew up with? Books, movies, VSHJ, VHS tapes. That's what I grew up with. That's what I grew up with. All I grew up with. I didn't care. If I liked the movie, like if I liked the VHS tape, I put it in play that. I put in the VHS player after learning how to do it. Or watching my mom do it, or my dad do it, I'd copy them, like, mimic what they did, because I wanted to watch it. I'd learn. That's all that matters, is learning. Learning is fun. And for me, it is. It's completely fun. So, I really don't care. But, my soul didn't go to heaven, didn't go up, went down, straight to hell, and it wasn't fun, 
wasn't pretty either. Well, kinda. The entrance slash exit to hell was very gorgeous. Maybe that's why I'm so. That's maybe that's why I love death and destruction. Maybe I don't know. Probably. But I saw Lucifer. Not fun. He looked like me about uh about nine ten years uh older. About nine ten years older. About how I look now. And if you're wondering, I ain't Lucifer. There'll be a part two about this.